Then I'm gonna grab my orange wood stick and I'm gonna um, mock, put back, push back the cuticle. And I do this by pinching the finger correctly. And my buffer block is just gonna be lightly kind of bent and I'm just taking that natural shine off the nail. Hydrator. Just to that center part of the nail. Then I'm gonna put all my off of the other pack. I'm gonna take the sticker out of the center. I'm gonna place my thumbs parallel to this black center here and then I'm gonna push and I kinda of like bounce that back and forth. And I'm trying to create a nice arc in the form. I'm gonna leave the perforated line together and then I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna put my index finger right here on the black grid and then take my thumb and my middle finger and squeeze together so that it has a really nice arc to it. Then I'm gonna take this and slide this underneath the free edge of the nail and then once I get that nice and snug under that free edge, I'm gonna kinda of like push down on the form and then slide my fingers along the sides of it to get a really nice contact. I then can take this and lightly pinch the tip of it, which creates a really nice arc. Okay? After the four, I'm going to put on my primer. The primer just goes on the apex of the nail. Now, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to dip it down into the liquid to the point where it's like dripping out like this. That's a little too much, so then I'm just going to lightly tap that drip off the end of it. I'm going to insert just the tip of the brush into the powder so that it creates a little bead on the top. Then my first bead is going to go where the free edge meets the form. So I kind of like scrape it off the side of my brush here. Okay, I kind of like twisted it. I'm going to take my brush and then kind of like clean that up a little on my paper towel. Then I'm going to come in here and really, I just need to babysit this product till it starts to set up and not move. I'm going to shape it by pushing it around, not painting it, just pushing it. So if you're nice and close, you can see where the product itself is going to start to like liquefy and run down the nail. I'm just going to push that back up, push this down. And on this side of the nail, you can see that that's also running down, so that I'm just going to push that product back up on there. And really, the product itself is self-leveling, so it's going to want to run away from you to level itself out. Let it do that, and then just chase it back to where you want it to be. You want the end of the extension, what you're forming, to be thick enough that you can apply pressure to it and file it and it won't snap off, but thin enough that it doesn't look like a talon or something crazy, okay? And that's relatively set. You can also see that that's just an extension of the nail. I didn't make it any wider. I'm just taking the nail that was on there and totally extending it. Insert just the tip of the brush into the product and I get a little bead. This one's going to go in the center of the nail and cover most of the rest of the nail. I want to overlap this a little bit onto that part that I started with. And the whole time I'm using a padding motion, I'm not painting it. I want to make sure that I keep a free margin in between the sidewall of the nail here and the, the skin. So basically just keep a space between skin and nail. Make sure that your products come together. Okay. Go right here down at the cuticle or at the, the base of the nail. And because this is a smaller nail, I really didn't need that third bead, but they wanna see me do this in a three bead method. So I just put a little one there. The end of um, your brush or your wooden stick, that is set, that is not. 
okay? I'm just gonna take the form, pop that down, rip this perforated line, and pull this off. So now it's all hard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of my side walls, my side walls, and then my, my free edge, and then I'm going to go underneath of it. So it's going to be here, 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 here. Okay? And when you take off your form, you might see that like a little bit of that product kind of went like really thin and translucent. That stuff can totally be filed off really easily. When you're filing, just make sure that you're not cutting into the skin. And you guys have a two grit file today. The orange side is the heavier grit and the white side is the softer grit. Round off my square. Make sure I don't make it so sharp it's gonna cut me because I don't wanna do that blood. Here and I'm gonna start to take off this sticky layer. So once I start filing, you can see how it's like beating up. Just keep doing that. And that is that inhibition layer that you are removing. And again, just be careful when you're filing that you're really being mindful of the skin. Because the mannequin hand is made of this rubber plastic, it really does show your file marks really easy. You also wanna make sure that you're pinching and holding the nail like you would be if it was a real person. Keeping the fingers facing you so that if it was a real person and it had a body attached to it, they wouldn't be sitting on your finishing product, which is my buffer block, and I'm going to count to 15 while I go back and forth here, kind of like rotating here to here to here. And when I'm done with this, it should feel extremely smooth. And when I run my finger back and forth, I shouldn't see any kind of deposit on the nail. So nice and smooth, nice and matte. If I wanna go the extra mile, I can come back in here and clean up all the dust and things that settled. And that looks beautiful, and that's what that is. At that point, 